everything that is needed to put the cybernetic state together has been discovered or invented. But it is not about computers as much as it is about complying with nature's rules. The modern democratic state is almost there, but people will have to change the model of government they carry in their heads. Management Cybernetics and Stafford Beer's Viable System Model clarify the evolution of the state and what the cybernetic state looks like. So let's begin with the explanation. Aristotle once wrote, Man is a creature for the life of the city-state. Since then, hundreds, if not thousands of books have been written about the nature of the state. Seen here are three of the best-known thinkers that have given their definition of what the state is. A sticky question regarding the state is whether it is a man-made invention or is it a natural occurrence? Is it a product of human design and invention, such as a hammer? If it were, we would not need a theory, would we? The mysterious nature of the state has puzzled many thinkers. This is how we have a theory of the state. Behind the hammer design are the laws of Newton and conservation of energy. An invention or not, behind the creation of the state are the laws of control and communication, the cybernetic laws which are just as prevalent and decisive as Newton's laws. As you know, modern science is about making models. This is a diagram by Stafford Beer explaining how scientific rigor is achieved in management. Amazingly, modern democratic states instinctively follow many of the cybernetic rules. These rules reveal the unity of law, economics, and politics. The state is a viable system, the same as persons who are capable of an independent existence. Stafford Beer discovered that viable systems have three main elements, an environment containing a system or operation, and within the operation we find a management. Three homeostatic control loops tie all these three elements together to form a dynamic, learning, and adaptive system. Amazingly, through the centuries, the theory of the state literature has arrived to a similar model. The state's three elements are territory, people, and government. Legal theory, strongly tied to the state, furnishes another important match. The Roman paterfamilias institution includes the father as sole owner-manager of everyone in his family and exercises control to use and abuse his household and everything in it. The same three elements are sufficient to describe the modern legal person. A person's property is part of the legal person just as the relevant environment is part of the viable system. The law protects not only the physical person, but the whole viable system that, in accordance to law, constitutes a legal person. The law can even recognize your dog to be an inseparable part of you. You also pay for your dog's damages to others. We've found an easy path from persons to families, villages, cities, and the nation-state. With individual persons as the smallest viable system in the eyes of the law and the state, now let's go one step up. Several individuals or merchants make a market. Let's see how this works. Here is an example. This is a model of a market in terms of the VSM. All we need is a balanced scale to reach agreements and exchange goods, tit for tat. From the exchange function arise the standards and eventually the laws of exchange and the creation of money. Markets are not in themselves viable systems. According to the viable system model, something is missing 
to attain viability. Because sooner or later disputes emerge and a rational and sophisticated procedure for settling disputes in an orderly fashion has to be put in place. When agreements fail, this is what the remedy looks like. Judges have a vital function to perform and they bring with them the enforcers of voluntary agreements gone sour. At this point, we are in the presence of the minimal state. The next step in the complexification of the control systems of the state is the appearance of the lawmakers. They are the minimal state's organ for long-term adaptation. Legislation is always directed to the future, never to the past. Since the future can only be guessed, legislators inevitably have to play the role of model makers. But given that ideologies have hidden models of the world, the viable system model could put an end to the Babel Tower syndrome in politics. The state should be organized in the same way as nature, from the bottom up, using the same plan again and again. The reason is that self-similarity requires much less regulatory information. Control theory makes a lot of sense. However, not every organization adopts these rules of nature and pays the price eventually. The similar appearance of these buildings tells us a lot about how deeply the self-similarity of organizational structure influences the thought processes. The final piece is the state's identity. It provides the necessary balance between the immediate needs of day-to-day -day government and the long-term adaptation needs. In a democracy, it's the people who provide the necessary logical closure to the state control system. This is the sovereign entity which has no higher authority. When Staffer Beer drew this last box for Salvador Allende, the president of Chile exclaimed, Ah, el pueblo, the people. Months later, the Chilean economy experiment was brought to a halt by El Golpe. Modern internet technology should serve us as a maximizer of total individual freedoms. Marx and Marxists erroneously predicted that the state would disappear when proletariats took power, not understanding the difference between government and the entity being governed. I had always wondered how the founding fathers of the United States of America had come up with a near-perfect mapping of the viable system incorporated into the Constitution. It turns out that they had a bit of help from the Iroquois. In fact, the 100th Congress of the United States approved a concurrent resolution to acknowledge the contribution of the Iroquois Confederacy of Nations to the development of the United States Constitution. To this day, the great law of peace still inspires the longest lasting participative democracy known to man, to keep hanging by a thread of hard work and persistence, shown here some of its current citizens. Computers can help organize the cybernetic state, but it won't become a reality until the Iroquois mentality of seeking deliberate harmony between man and nature is embraced by the overwhelming majority of the citizens. To this end, Management Cybernetics and the VSM can be of great help in creating the new vision.